Gabriel and I have been living together for the better part of about six or seven years or so. And I've noticed his symptoms getting worse and worse over time. And uh, I'd heard about Professor Casey on a TLC TV show called Schizophrenia. And uh, we had done meetings with several other doctors, professors, done all sorts of tests and research. And I'm just happy that all this is finally coming to fruition. We're going to be able to get, you know, some actual professional help. Hey. Hello, and welcome to NCMI, Nathan Casey, Mental Institute. How may I help you? Hi, I'm here with Gabriel. We have an appointment with Professor Casey for schizophrenia. All right, I'll go back and notify Professor Casey. I started noticing he had problems when he said he saw people walking up and down the halls when we were the only people in the house, or when he told me to be quiet when I like wasn't even talking, to be honest. You know, it was just things like that, and then it just got worse and worse over time, and now he just randomly yells at me for things I didn't even say. Professor Casey, Gabriel's here to see you. All right, bring him in. Professor Casey's ready for you. Come on. Professor Casey, I'm Alex. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, Alex. We look forward to having your help. We look forward to having your help. We look forward to having your help. Nice to meet you, Alex. We look forward to having your help. Gabriel, will you please rest here while Professor Casey and Alex discuss the game plan? You know, Professor Casey, I've been living with Gabe for around six or seven years now, and wow. you know he's had you know some strange symptoms, kind of talking to himself back when he was younger, and then when he was like eleven or twelve, he would just start yelling at me for things I didn't say or things I wasn't doing, and. You know, about a couple months ago, it got to a point where he pulled a knife on me and we had to get some cops over there and sedate him. So, uh, ever since then, I've been, I've been, you know, carrying around a loaded gun. In case I need to this. You know, I would never have a we should. We're going to run some diagnostics and rest assured that we're going to get to the bottom of this. You know, I read a statistic that said 50% of people who have schizophrenia, you know, have turned to substance abuse, and I'm afraid that's going to be Gabe soon. And then. You know, the statistics for it say that not even 1% of people are affected in their lifetime. But uh, what's actually really common is for schizophrenic people to be affected when they're young. And I guess I noticed it when Gabe was younger. And I'm putting it all together right now and I just want to help him out. Alright Gabriel, I'm going to do some tests on you, okay buddy? Fast, we're just going to take your temperature, okay Gabriel? Gabriel, 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 Gabri